Hello and welcome to the 36th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we'll be looking at namespaces. Namespaces allow variables and methods to be grouped allowing multiple instances with the same name and to access them you just use the namespace and then you access that particular variable or method and they will hold their own, like a variable for example, will hold their own data compared to a namespace that is named slightly different but may contain a variable that has the same name. So let's just show you how namespaces work. These go hand in hand with classes, which will be covered later on in this series. But you can use it without classes as well. So the syntax for a namespace is essentially that you do the word name space, then the actual name of your namespace. I'm going to put numbers. Then inside here you work, you just put your variables and methods and what have you. You can put int i equals 9, float f equals 8.75. Then we're going to have a function which says namespace1 to the console. It's going to be a very simple function for the purpose of this tutorial. So namespace1. Now let's just put a new line. And now what we can do is simply copy and paste this. I'm going to change a few things. We're going to put the number 2 here. We're going to change this to 10. Change this to 1.24. You don't have to put these numbers or these names. These are just some numbers that I'm making up and putting in here for the purpose of this tutorial. Change this to namespace 2. As you can see, both contain an integer and a float variable with the same name, but they are actually separate variables belonging to different namespaces. And to access a namespace, it is extremely simple as well. What you do is numbers or numbers two colon colon i, and you can assign the value three to it. And what we're going to do is std see out number so colon colon i std and line run it we get the value free as you can see we've accessed it by putting colon colon very similar to the std for to access see out or end line c in or anything else part of the standard namespace because as i just said it's the standard namespace and we have our own namespace now which is called numbers so if we were to just access i from numbers 2 and run it, we get a value of 10 because even though the variables have the same name, they are essentially different variables because they belong to separate namespaces. So it's a very easy way to actually access it instead of um, having just the one variable name which doesn't obviously doesn't doesn't allow you to have multiple variables with the same name with the same uh, uppercase or lowercase system therefore you have to have different names even though they may essentially be the same thing so you can just have different namespaces now what we're going to do is numbers colon colon we're just going to use the function see it in the same way as you would use for a variable but obviously put the brackets at the end so the compiler knows it's a function colon colon for namespace 2 and if we run this we get namespace 1 and we get namespace 2 you can put using namespace then the namespace name and then the namespace doesn't need to be specified but be careful as in this example the variables and method inside the namespaces are named the same so let me just show you what I mean so if I do using namespace then you put your namespace name so I'm putting numbers Sorry about that. It's a notification going off on every single device. Uh, this is known about. There you go. Obviously, because it hadn't been declared yet, it was saying that there's no namespace called numbers. So if I were to just access function on its own, that is accessible and run it it runs the first namespaces function and this is simply because we've done using where is it yeah using namespace numbers so anything in here we don't actually have to specify the namespace there's nothing wrong with it we can still do it as you can see it works right there for this line here but one thing you've got to be careful is if we were to copy and paste this 
and put a 2 here on it, you'll fail. Because it says quarter function is ambiguous. Because both of these now don't require the namespace. You could put the keyword function to call this method, but you could also call this method. So the compiler is not sure which method you're trying to call. So usually you don't want to be using several namespaces that have variables and methods that are named the same. But if you do an easy way to access a separate namespaces variables and methods, it literally just put the namespace in front of it and then put colon colon. And that is it really for namespaces. That's all you have to do. In the next tutorial, we're going to be covering arrays. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube, whatever you feel comfortable with. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.